Thank you very much. Gary, we are all alone in this dark and dramatic past. Let's hold hands. Yeah, I don't like to hold hands with girls. <laughs> then, then put your arm around my waist. Yeah, I don't like to put my arm around a girl's waist. <laughs> now, I'm going to make notes of this whole thing and then later have my head examined. <laughs> Jerk in this, you know. <laughs> a fourteen character Cleeton, and I'm right there. <laughs> but but Donna, I I gotta go now. I want to work on my book. I'm writing the story of my adult life. I've got a title for that story. Oh really? What is it? The Green Years. Look at it. <laughs> I I think of a good answer for that. But look who's in the music room down there. Who? Our most talented student. She's rehearsing a number for the annual show. Boy, what a great singer. Oh, I know her. It's Connie Haynes. Connie. What song are you working on? It's called California Sunbeam, and I just made a record of it. Oh, yeah, that record's so good, I learned every beat of it by heart. Really? How did it go? Why, like this. <laughs> I just got a note asking me to report immediately to the president of the college. I, I wonder what's wrong. Well, there you are, President Ishkabibble. <laughs> Student Moore. <laughs> Baldy. <laughs> Student Moore. 
before it has come to my attention that you are about to graduate, and I want to see you about a very important matter. What is it, Fletcher? Uh, watch your language. <laughs> How long have you been a student here at good old Wordle Birdle? Four years. Before that, I was in high school. Oh, yes, high school. Good old high school. I'll bet high school taught you a lot. It certainly did. I'll never forget how to open beer bottles with my teeth. <laughs> well, Moore, you have learned a lot here at college, too. You are an educated man. I certainly am. Now I open whiskey bottles with my teeth. <laughs> now listen closely, Moore. Wordle Birdle has spent a lot of time and energy making a man out of you. Huh? We're not going to let you down. Now that you're about to go out into the world, we are going to teach you about girls. Oh, no, not that. I'm sorry, Moore. It is a required course. We, <laughs> we, we cannot let you go out into the world unprepared. <laughs> You've got to be able to get the first base with a girl. The first base? I can't even fit in the bleachers. <laughs> exactly. So let us cover the field of women by delving into history. Now, you take Cleopatra, who was bit by a snake. Snake being spelt S N A K E, but sneak being smelt S N E. <laughs> spelt S N E K E. The E sometimes pronounced like A, so snake becomes sneak and sneak snake. Now, now a sneak sneaks and so does a snake sneak. So whichever sneaks up on you, they both snuck. <laughs> What about Cleo? I just said she was bit by a snake. Oh, what a foolish snake to bite such a beautiful girl. Yeah, he was a silly ass. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Tell me, tell me, Plexi, where, where did they bury Cleopatra? Bury her? Uh, in a pyramid right alongside the mummy of King Ptolemy. Oh, how do you know it was Ptolemy's mummy? My mummy done Ptolemy. <laughs> Back to the beautiful dames, you know, this could bring back silent radio. Yes, yes. Now, <laughs> now, Lady Godiva was a beautiful woman. She was the first woman jockey. Oh, the first woman jockey. Did she ever win? No, but she certainly showed. <laughs> now, now we take Venus. President Sabibble, Venus was a myth. Myths or misses don't make no difference. <laughs> Stop lisping. I'm sorry. Certainly. <laughs> then there was Julia. Well, look, Julia was not a real woman either. She lived between the covers of a book. She did? Yes. Skinny, wasn't she? <laughs> now, now, speaking of women, I have an essay here in regards to which I would like to get off fame entitled Women. Women are fine things. Yes, yes. They make better wives and mothers than anybody. <laughs> President Sabibble, what is your definition of women? Well, now, women is just like automobiles. They look better in a good paint job. You can get along better with them if you use the right kind of oil, but sometimes you've got to choke them to get them started. <laughs> I, I don't think you know too much about women. Well, in that case, I'll turn you over to your instructor for your refresher course in lovemaking. Hmm? But before I let you go, I have a little poem here I'd like to dedicate to you. Oh, a poem? Well, yes, how, yes. Does, how does it, it go? It goes like this. I wish I was a little egg, away up in a tree, sitting in my little nest as bad as I could be. And I wish that you would come along and stand beneath the tree, and I would up and bust myself and splatter you with me. <laughs> Thank you.